reporter with Invention Convention Worldwide. I'm excited to introduce my guest, Jason, a 12th grader from Iowa. Jason's most recent, recent invention, the ARE board, won the best logbook award under the invention process category at the Invention Convention US Nationals 2022 competition. Welcome, Jason. Hello, thank you so much for having me, Lula. Yeah. So Jason, I was actually at Nationals in person and I remember seeing your invention and thinking about how cool it was. So could you tell us about your invention and what problem it solves? Right, so my invention is the R board. Um, it's the auto rolling and erasing whiteboard. And um, throughout the 11 years of my life of living as a student, I noticed one single problem that all of my teachers were facing with. And it was while they were using a whiteboard. So all of my teachers had to write down and erase the same exact notes on the whiteboard for every single class period. And I also noticed that whiteboards, um, my teachers have around um, three to four whiteboards in the classroom covering up all of their walls. So it's also very not space efficient. So what my whiteboard does, it, it has a auto rolling um, conveyor belt mechanism so that you could use both sides of the whiteboard and it could automatically save notes and erase notes and be more space efficient. So if someone were to purchase your invention, how would they install it? Like would they, remove their old whiteboard and replace it with that? That is a great question. So my whiteboard could stand on by itself or you could also um, mount it to the wall. So there is a whiteboard behind me, but yeah, you could take off your whiteboard and then um, there's a mounting bracket so that you could just stick it to the wall and the conveyor belt will um, work with no disruptions, yeah. So if you were to market your invention, how much would you sell it for? Um, I would sell it for, so um, based on my research, other inventions, other whiteboard inventions that could save notes and erase notes, um, they are electronic whiteboards, which based on my research cost about around um, $2,000 approximately, which is very expensive. And my price range would be significantly lower than that. It might be a bit more expensive than an ordinary whiteboard, but I'm expecting it to be uh, $200 or more, but it will depend on the size. So I don't have a specific um, price range for it yet, but it will depend on the size of the whiteboard. Does your invention, would you plug it in or would it run on batteries? So my prototype runs on by plugging it in, but um, I view as, um, I think that plugging it in would be better while uh, to use my invention since it has a motor that has to roll the whole whiteboard sheet and it might need some high power for that. While you were making your invention, um, were there any problems you encountered? And if so, how did you overcome them? While making my invention, there were a lot of problems that I had to face. The whole invention journey is a repetition of failures and learning from the failures and fixing it. Um, one of the biggest problems was starting to build my invention. I was living by myself without my parents and I did not have any parental support nor the money or tools to make my invention. So um, while I was walking down the street, um, searching for a place or um, that has the tools to build my invention, I found a, a place that had all the tools. It, it seemed like a workshop that was um, not in business anymore. and. Um, I just really needed the tools. So I contacted the owner, owner, owners of the workshop and um, hopefully I got to negotiate with them and they opened up the workshop for me to use the tools. And that's how I started using the, their tools and their materials to make my invention. So just um, making the invention without parental support was the biggest problem for me. You seem very passionate about inventing. Have you made any other inventions? So I have a notebook full of um, ideas of inventions, but this one was the first invention that I built um, professionally, but nothing yet so far. Yeah. If you were to give advice to someone who is newer to inventing, what advice would you give them? Yeah, so like I said before, inventing is a repetition of failures and learning from failures and fixing it. And whenever you fail, you would feel very depressed and full of despair. And I would like to give them an advice of don't be afraid of failing. And in fact, failing would be the best thing that could happen to you because if you could take it as a lesson, it will become the best lesson that you could take. So for any inventors, I like to say, um, don't be afraid to fail and 
always learn how to learn from your failures and come up with the best solution of your invention. Yeah. That's very good advice. So um, for nationals, you won the best logbook award. So could you tell me about your logbook and what made it so unique? My logbook is a 40 page logbook. And I think I did a bit more extra work on my logbook. So something special about it was I had a table of contents of the full pages of what it covers. And I think one special thing about my logbook is I had a story about myself, about how, how I started inventing without my parents and how, how I got all the tools and all the advice from my community to start inventing. And I had specific diagrams of how I built my inventions with the CAD designs and all the specific journeys. So I think um, my biggest strength was being detailed and really descriptive of my invention journey. Yeah. It's a very cool logbook. Thank so you. you were at US Nationals in person, right? Yep. Um, could you tell us about your experience at the Henry Ford Museum and at New US Nationals? Yeah. So I've never been to such a cool museum like Henry Ford. And it was such a wonderful experience for me because not only did I get to see all those cool inventions and things at the museum, I was also meet, uh, I was also able to meet such great people and dedicated people like me. And it was really good to learn from all the other inventors. And um, it was just really great to see how people are changing the world. And I was also feeling very motivated to continue on with my journey of inventing. How did you react to winning Invention Convention US Nationals? Yeah, so at first, um, for the first half an hour, um, my name was not announced. So I was a bit, um, you know, in a bit of disappointment. And I was like not expecting to have such great award. But once I um, got the award, I was really, uh, my, just, my head just turned blank, you know, I just didn't know how to process it. But I think it was such a great um, experience for me since I learned that you get stuff, you get um, the best awards when you don't expect it, you know? I'm glad that your invention and logbook won something because you can really see how much effort you put into that invention. Mm -hmm. um, so do you have any plans to patent your invention? Yeah. So. In fact, um, I also got the patent application award at the Invention Convention Nationals. And so I got a free patent application um, from Wilmer Hill. Um, it's a, a law firm that cooperates with um, the Invention Convention. And I'm working, I'm currently working on a patent with them. Yeah. In the future, would you make any new inventions? Yeah, so I have, um, as mentioned before, a notebook full of invention ideas, and I'm willing to continue on with my journey of inventing. I have several inventions in mind that I um, am willing to start this year. Yeah. Nice. So from watching your pitch video, it seems like your invention has no problems, but are there any problems that you would want to improve on with your invention? Yeah, so um, I spent a lot of time with the erasing mechanism. So how this works is as this whiteboard sheet um, scrolls, the eraser bracket would um, erase it all at once, you know, but it's kind of hard to erase it all at once in just one attempt. So I'm trying to improve the erasing mechanism by having more precise manufacturing to make this whiteboard erase more efficiently. So um, with the erasers, if somebody wanted to clean or replace the erasers, would you sell that with your invention? Yeah, um, so the eraser bracket would be able to detach and I am willing to sell separate eraser brackets that they could mount on whenever the eraser is malfunction or not work efficiently. Yeah. Nice. So um, before we end, is there anyone you would like to thank for their support? So um, I would first of all like to thank my parents, even though they weren't with me in the same country. Um, I was having a lot of online calls with them and they gave me a lot of advice of where to get the tools and all that stuff. And um, I just really want to thank them of giving me such um, courage and motivation to continue on with my journey, um, as long with my science teachers since I got a lot of advice from them about how to um, improve my prototype. 
and also the makerspace that I was talking before, which provided me with the tools and materials to make my, make my invention, yeah. Um, thank you for talking about your invention. On behalf of all of us at Invention Convention Worldwide, thank you, Jason, for joining me. Be sure to check out our other student in in inventor interviews on our YouTube channel. Until next time.